Hi Twin Flames, welcome to this tarot love reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back, welcome if you're new. I'm just going to state from weekend yesterday, gone. I'm not checking emails on the weekend anymore. I'm, I'm going to try to get someone to help me. But um, So if you've done anything, put it in there. Uh, I haven't checked. Um, I work every day, so at least I thought, well, I'm not even going to go into emails at the weekend. So that's my new thing. I'm just letting you know. So, OK, let's see what's going on with Earth signs. I'm going to do some elements this week. Plus, I'll do DMDF as well. I don't know when, but maybe later. Let's see. Okay, let's take them. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> I like, oh, uh, Justice is in the middle. I like that, but let's see. I don't know if you can. Hmm. Okay. So the first card is, sorry, I was looking, Six of Wands. So the last week, I think, I've been talking about coming away from friends, uh, coming away strong, dealing with maybe, let me think. Uh, okay, finding a way to not let people control you. Um, I don't know, that's the kind of softest way I can say it. This is uh, the Six of Wands, which is victory over it. So maybe some of you has figured out a way of, if you've got my master program, I give you tips how to do it. But this is um, definitely, see these five wands down here. These are other people, friends, family, uncles, aunties, mum, dad, whatever. And can you see they're all pointing the wands at you here? Uh, five of Wands means other people interference, but you're rising above it because you are a twin flame and with the bird there as well, which is um, like wisdom as well. So twin flame feathers, birds and all this kind of thing. So it's like <laughs> you're rising up. Actually, I talk about Kabbalah in my reading uh, and Kabbalah is simply um, how you raise your level of conscious level uh, consciousness to the highest awareness and it's like you're rising and you're um rising up and rising up your conscious level um it's actually called the uh well some people call it as well the uh, kabbalah tree of life the ladder to god because you're climbing up and the highest one is justice is one of the um um a top of the um tree of life as well that's why i said at the beginning oh that's interesting the justice card is here so you're rising above what other people are saying, doing. But this is why I say it's so tricky because there's one of you and there's five others with the wands and wands are passion. So it's not only like your mum giving you grief, then your best friend gives you grief. Then you're at work talking to someone at work about it, it gives you grief. It's like all to do with your twin flame, you see. This this represents to me in this deck, this try whatever these are things right um science um science to me is like quantum physics energy not understanding the science the laws of the planet because it's on their back so they haven't got a clue they can't see it you see they're just pointing the sticks at you but like i said the first card is like some of you are figuring out arising above it this is very hard this is the hardest thing I battle with over you and your person. I can try to convince you that your person is your twin flame, the bonds for life. You know that anyway, you know that and all this kind of thing. Friends and family, you lot don't want to know. Not everyone, but most of you know, just because they gave birth to you, my major 
battle and is another situation of why uh, many twin flames are not in union because of obviously your person has this third dimension uh, third dimensional situation over there so your family think they know best to say oh well don't go over there because he's a nightmare she's a nightmare with third parties such as kids uh, some partner maybe living with someone maybe married da, 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 but set you up with a bloody idiot who who you're not even in love with that's far worse <laughs> plus they don't understand like i said this symbols triangle whatever these things are right is to do with science meaning they don't understand the science and laws of the planet that love is the highest frequency so you're supposed to follow your loves wants and desires you don't need to know how it comes about but I said this in a video yesterday that um, we were supposed to just be born to follow our, our love and our abundance and it comes into your reality because we are born and then we're turned that positive into a negative from television, elite secret societies, Illuminati's, whatever, right, family, friends, it puts inside of a negative, that's why nothing comes into your reality. So they didn't know, but you are now learning and this, uh, if this, this is the suggestion, my readings, if you're new or what is you're doing, if this is relevant. So this will be victory or it is victorious, what you're doing, rising above it, you see? And I state that because the next card is uh, justice, balance. So obviously you could be dealing with a Libra here, but this is also about, and I said about rising up in consciousness in the tree of life because, um, this card is at the top of the tree of life as well as the magician card this is to do with um this is what the planet's law wants humanity to have balance in their life hence i state the two pillars and they have the two pillars in this justice card as well the center pillar in the tree of life is of balance this is the um oh they got it the wrong way around in this card but it doesn't matter i won't go too much on that but once you do that and you rise up your level like this card is she's rising up the first card she's rising up you get to the top of the tree of life which becomes balance and also your wheel of fortune it's like they um because you're removing the negativity i, I don't know and this is what I don't know if you guys had it, but this is what I was doing before. Now, I wasn't hardcore. I know you lot might think I was like this. Sitting, meditating, Buddha and all this kind of thing. I never done anything. I tried to meditate because everyone used to be was this trend about meditating. This trend about Reiki, this trend. And I was like, now nah, I never tried Reiki. I tried it on this channel, but I never tried it before. What I'd done that was purely because of my upbringing. It kind of worked. Mm. No, not acupuncture, something else. Hypnotherapy. My point is that when I say raising up in consciousness, all the other gurus used to say, when you do meditation, when you do uh, yoga, when you do all this, you have this enlightened, enlightened spiritual moment and your life changes. I was like, uh, 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 no. It didn't happen to me like that. I don't know about you lot. Um, no, I didn't have nothing like that. But this is rising up in consciousness. And when you're rising up in consciousness, things come into your reality and is being known to you. It's for you to pick up the signals and stop looking with your eyeballs to think, well, that's not logical. Or that doesn't make sense. And just go for what's shown up to you. And that's when mission comes into your reality because I say it, the will or fortune on this balance card is in the sky. Because most say, I, well, I think, I think I know what I want to do. I'm like, well, if you think, that's not thought form. The sky is guidance from higher consciousness, other realms of reality, etc. Thought form is the lowest energetic. Well, it's not the lowest earthly plane, pentacle, material. Because we're not supposed to go for material only for the experience of it the thought form is to think about what you want and then you allow higher consciousness to guide that to you if you're new i always state 
well, I haven't said it for a while. The reason how I done tarot, I never picked up tarot cards in my life. My twin sister used to do it. I never, like you lot, if you're watching tarot, you don't really focus on studying the cards. You just listen to that person. So I was just listening, listening, listening to my sister. Then I had a kind of dream to buy tarot cards. So I rang her, but and I said, oh, you have to buy tarot cards, plain deck, you know, the poker, I think they're called cards. She was like, no, what the fuck you want about? You can't use those cards in tarot. It's not for me. I said, you've got to do it and start a channel. She said, no, no, not starting no channel, not getting those cards. I went into the charity shop, so I used to go to charity shops, and there was a card of decks right there. So I brought it, 50p or something. I still got it here. I don't use them. And um, I said, I found the cards, rang her back, found the cards, blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, nope, not for me, not doing it. Don't what you on about. These these cards you can't use in tarot, blah, blah, blah. So I literally just chucked the cards, said, you know, probably something like is David for me. Because obviously <laughs> you, you always check your, your, your love with cards. And it came out with like two of cups. Then I thought, oh, now that's a fluke, and I chucked something else, and um, it was it was weird. I literally created this channel because I thought, you know what, I'm going to chuck all 12 star signs, and if someone says, fuck off, cunty, you're stupid, this is rubbish, and blah, blah, then I thought, it ain't for me. I got booked straight away, and I didn't have no equipment. They had to wait two weeks till I bought all my camera and everything, because I followed those dots. So this is important because balance here, this this card is the top of the alchemical um, elements, not, yeah, the justice card, not the sought for, but the justice card, meaning that the justice will come and you will find out about mission when balance is out, when you stop listening to other people. But like I said, with thought form, don't get it confused of thinking, shall I do this? Thinking, shall I do that for mission? You have to work your way up the tree of life. Then it becomes known to you what your wheel of fortune is from higher consciousness because they will make it into your reality. Before I done this, I never done anything spiritual. I tried literally for a minute to do meditation because everyone was, it was a trend of meditation is amazing. And I started thinking about pizzas, chocolate, sweets, makeup and handbags. I stopped. So it doesn't work all the time. It's very hard. And still, what does that do if you are inside of a negative? Hence the, the pillars. It's about balance, you see. This is also where about Kabbalah as well. 11 is like twin flame, but it's you, you see. 11, 11 is you and your person. 11 is just you need to balance this out. You need to do all of this. Then there's a... Um, then it's like your person comes charging towards you. You see, this is um, doing this. Even so, that's that's the what most will say crazy, but it's not really crazy. But this card kind of looks guy looks kind of angry to me. And can you see the background is cold? So it's like, which most of you don't do, and that's because of other people, other tower readers, is your person's over there and you are feeling left out in the cold. Your person's over there and he might be angry or there might have been arguments because of your not understanding the twin flame dynamic. This is about you still being connected with your person, not studying what his situation is or what, feeling left out in the cold and still defending your person. This is what this is about with this card here. This will balance it out. And what I'm saying this for is this is about not looking, hence the video before, please go watch what I said, why is it so hard? This is not looking at the situation and how your person is reacting and making you feel out in the cold. This is understanding it's your twin flame with the ones here. That's when you will be victorious and balance out. And this card will change from being left out in the cold and anger to be charging towards you. Once you understand this concept, and I said it's the friends and the family, which is really bad. And 
and they make it worse because, oh, well, he ain't talking to you and he's over there and all this kind of thing. I find it and, you know, very hard to. Um, I've got a question for you because I know what most of you do. You're like, OK, you know what? I just won't talk to them about my twin flame. Uh, what kind of family member of friends is that if you can't talk to them about your most highest passion on this planet Earth? Then they ain't really there for you, are they? You're supposed to be open to people and tell truths and say how it is. If they can't support you, then you shouldn't be with them. Not hide things from them. I'm warning you that is still a negative. So you look and pretend and, oh, well, I'll just limit time with them and this and that. You have to be of a positive for this to work. And I'm saying this is very hard. This is one of the hardest things that I have to deal with in on, on this entirety of this um, work, which is why your person is hard work. Because you lot don't understand the concept of why is it so hard? It's hard because you have to deal with people that are hard. The hardest people you have to deal with is your family. Once you understand that concept and no one's in your ear persu um, persuading you to come away from them, you get closer to your person and then they should see the results. And then they should come back and say, yep, I'm sorry or whatever's and whatever's. But what you're trying to do is I say this middle ground. But your middle ground is not um, about making a choice and then the balance happens this is about just staying in middle, middle ground and not picking when this planet's frequency is either or you choose to be with your twin flame or you don't middle ground is you don't that's it so i pre-warn you if you think yeah well i'll try to make it easy i'll limit time with my family i'll move and i'll just talk to them da, da, da. you have to say I am. Um, I don't care what you uh, you can say it how you want. You know, you don't have to swear, tell people to fuck off like I would or whatever like this. But my point is, if it is of a negative and you're talking to your family, for example, and your mum is saying to you, how are you? Have you found someone nice? And you're like, no, I'm just working and focusing on me. When you love your twin flame, that is a lie. That is negative. You have to figure out how to be victorious over them. This is why there's no twin flames together. They don't understand that concept. I don't know if you can see me because of I'm seeing it dark. This is very important. When you understand this, then look, your person hears you. This is when the training starts. This is when the victory starts with your person. And this is when he comes towards you. If you're listening to me and this resonates with you and your person is not ringing you, texting you, coming towards you and still out in the cold and all that, it's because of what I've just said. You're figuring out another way of how to balance this out, which balance is middle ground. You have to choose. Once you choose and you stick to it, then your person, look, he hears you. He's looking at you. The third party is still there. Right. But that doesn't matter. You're the middle here. Look, that's you two here facing each other. He hears you, he's holding that wand, and this is a page, meaning then he starts his training. It's underneath you becoming victorious underneath these people telling you telling you what to do. Oh, sorry, I can't see if you can see it. I'm in awkward angles today. There, kind of thing. This is what you guys don't understand. And then, you know, I get stupid ass comments. I don't really get a chance to check the comments, to be fair, anymore. But, yeah, when I do about friends and family, I'm like, you come tell me anyone put in the comments there. My mum, my best friend, my auntie and all that. I talk to them openly about my person with the third party situation and they were fine. They was like, OK, you can come talk to me about it when you want. I'll babysit the kids if you want to go over there. You know, don't worry if he doesn't contact you. I guarantee there's no one that says that. <laughs> no one. That's why you're not with your person, because you listen to the shit. I told you it's the hardest thing to do. The easiest thing is to get rid of them. That's why I say get rid of them. You're lying to yourself if you're lying to someone else. If you're not open to them that you love your person, you're lying to yourself, which is a negative, this won't work. This is why the balance is underneath, once again, the will. You want to balance this out. Look, 
oh well i'll pretend you know of with you know um that everything's okay it's like you're a monkey to them to friends and family they push your will forward. This is monkey mind as well, the monkey on top of here. Monkey mind is the R complex and the reptilian brain. But I'm pulling this more towards your family, which is manipulating you. It's absolutely manipulating you. You can go around the houses and say it like this. It's easy to figure out what is a negative or positive. If you're lying to your family, you know that's a lie and lie is negative. That's it. It's not that hard. This is about, like, again, the wheel of fortune, understanding what your purpose here is, is a twin flame. The snakes are around the wheel. Look here. This is the, the, um, the seasons. This is the guidance as well. Uh, the, the, the four seasons here. This is like, how long is it going to take for this to balance out? This is once again, the cards are always saying the lambscape here. This is a circle here. This is a circle here. This is going towards your wants, wishes and desires. This is to do with money as well. This is will, will of fortune. Your fortune won't happen till you understand that they're keeping you from your bucket. You carry on. They're stopping you from having this. If I listen to my sister, I'm not cussing her out, but if I listen to her sister, not only would I be in my purpose, not only has this brought me closer to David, but I would not be as abundant in this as I would have been. Um, well, I always was with the other job, but this one I can come away from the other job and focus on one job, which I love to do more. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. They don't have to be cussing you out. Oh, he's a fucking idiot. She's such a stupid idiot over there. They could say it lovingly. It doesn't matter. No one should tell you what to do. If they were, what's the fucking point of intuition and internal compass? Why? Why do we have that for others to tell us? This is important. It's the first card. It's the most high energetic frequency. This is connected to twin flame, six of wands, victory. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Underneath this is like, it's up to you before your person. It's, this is the duality here. And look, this is about balance. This is all about balance. And I'm, I said it again. And I had another reading with the two balance cards in the middle. Make a fucking choice, you lot. Make the fucking choice. The pillars here, the black and the white, and the black and white here. This, I was saying, it's the Lamaskate. The Lamaskate is above the strength card. The strength card is um, the woman who is the high priestess and she's holding the mouth of the lion. This is about having the courage because, you know, you wouldn't go near a lion, let alone hold its mouth. So having the courage to stop listening to these other people that are chatting shit because of she's holding the mouth of the lion. Right. The lion is connected to your person because they are the king of the jungles. They protect their family. They, you know, they look after the family and all that kind of thing. The, the jungle, the woods, rooted belief systems. That's why they're over there. But the, your family are chatting shit about your person because he's stuck in his belief systems, which is his or her 5D contract to stay over there so that you learn to not attack him, to come away from people who are attacking you, which is your birth right. You chose this from 5D to come into this reality to go through this. So then to have these to stop you is why this isn't progressing. This Lamaskate, the Lamaskate Infinite 8 symbol which means uh, forever. This will continue forever if you don't get hold of it, or you will be with your person forever when you sort this out. The Lamaste is the cord. It is this um, the yin, the yang, which is the balance here. This needs to be balanced out to be victorious. I said it's the top of the Kabbalah, the tree of life. So you have to raise your consciousness level. Once you raise that and understand it, which is coming away from the material plane, which material plane is wanting, looking only from the perspective of the eyeballs. That's the material plane, right? Once you start rising above it, then you come away from these people and you get towards your person. The Lammas Gate is the yin and the yang, which is the cord of you and your twin flame. It cannot be cut. This is in the fucking air. Oh, well, let's do it. Let's do, you not pay me money and we'll do a spell on the strawberry moon to cut the cord. 
any of you could tell me that happens, I'll give you a free reading and all my programs are free. How can you cut energy? You tell me that. They're so stupid after people that said some stuff out there. I'm sorry, them lot was telling me, stop cussing them. I can't help it because they delay union. You lot are sensitives and empaths. You should know what to do and what not to do by now. Even without me telling you, I had no one telling me jack shit to do. It's, I just listen to upstairs, which is myself. So this, that's why I say to you lot, I'm no different than you. I am not. All the other tower readers, only I can do it. Come check me out and all this kind of thing. And uh, you know what I mean? You lot, I'm teaching you to do what I do. The only thing which I state that I think you lot can't do, but you have your own versions of it, which them lot from upstairs will give to you, right? Wheel of Fortune, is um, my image reading. Not everyone can do that. Everything else, yes, you lot can do. Other tower readers, you always look up to them. You're supposed to look up to no one. You can do everything I do. This last card is what I'm feeling is the perception of what this is to do with mission as well. Uh, if you're new, please check out. Oh, please check out me and David's video about mission, something about mission, because I'm getting pulled that you lot are thinking to convince your person to do this kind of spiritual work and if he's working with you that will convince the family if you had no one there to convince you wouldn't need to convince your person to do mission i didn't have to convince david to come and do this he's coming today he said he wants to do a video do i care if he does it no it doesn't matter if he does it or not do you see what i mean but you lot always convince your person more so to do with friends and family see oh he texted me today see oh we went for a meal you don't have to do that for that if you don't put any expectation any pressure on from you just imagine your people not on your case how he will come towards you it's energy that's why i say go to twin flame transformation and know the laws of the planet how the laws work there's more than just the law of gravity. I can't understand why humanity think there's only one law. It's ridiculous. Of course, there's more, law more laws than just the law of gravity. This is what we are here to teach. So I said this one, this is the last card. I think it's connected to how you want your person to be some Buddha or some, because this looks like the wheel of fortune to me. And it's like he won't. This is why there's arguments. This is why he's left out in the cold, making you feel left out in the cold and etc. Because there's some expectation of him to do something like that. I'm not feeling anything more than that from that card. This, I tell you, your middle ground, can you see his middle ground as well? He's in the middle of, in between two belief systems. You must, you must understand that the law of this planet is when you make a choice to go towards your love, then he will make a choice to go towards you. If you're trying to negotiate anyone who does you bad, right? This is what I try to teach on this channel and in my programs. You don't have to agree with me. If I don't resonate or you don't agree with me, go somewhere else. But don't judge me on because I swear or because I'm blunt. It's about following your truths. This planet's law is about truths and your loves and that brings your abundance. So if someone does you wrong or says something that is against you, doesn't matter if it's me or someone else, that is for you to know. You know that. You don't change your tone, change your words, change whatever move away from them but limit the phone call i tell you to limit it then get rid <laughs> unless they change it's very hard for them to change look how i try to make you to be with someone who you know you are connected to let alone family that have no connection as a twin flame you're kidding yourself absolutely this is for you to understand that. I don't know why people cuss me about it. What the fuck have I got any benefit of telling you to come away from friends and family? That would make me look evil. 
I'm not saying that for anything other than for you to go for your love. Then if they love you, they will see you happy and then they will come back. But otherwise, they are the ones keeping you from your person. Look at the other lot. What? Five twin flames on this um, on YouTube. You tell me they have all their friends and families around them. You tell me they're talking about, I went out drinking with Sarah Jane and then my cousin and this person from work. They don't do that. Why? Because they have to come away from people who are stopping them to get in union. Even the rich and the famous don't go around clinging with loads of friends and family. Why? Because they take them away from going for what they feel their purpose, their mission is. The only family that is famous is the Kardashians, and they are all famous in their own right. This is what you don't understand. They know the laws of the planet. It's simple. The elite secret societies, Illuminatis, are not got some, you know, something special up in there. They know the laws of the planets and how to be abundant. And if anything of a negative connotation is near them, they come away from it. Hence why they are only by themselves. This is what you don't understand. It's absolutely what you don't understand. So let me finish with my oh, summer up. What's going on here? I ain't got time for that. That one, don't know. Okay. They're so big to take over the entire thing. This is to do with, like I said, look, these three cards are pentacles. This is to do with mission. The, um, if you're new, because I had a few people email me just randomly, oh, can you check out my channel? They haven't booked me <laughs> and they haven't even bought my master program. If you're interested, the Twin Flame program, the master program, if you're new, I allow you to sell, but you have to book me <laughs> and buy a program. I won't allow you to sell what you are not studying. <laughs> please check that out in my playlist. If you're new, please check out my playlist. My playlists go into more details of what I would be in this reading for hours. This is how in detail, especially Alistair Crowley's cards. So I break it down into, uh, and that's how big it is. I have to break it into three playlists and I keep deleting stuff in them because they get too big. This is understanding because, like I said, these three cards are about pentacles. They are stopping you from getting your money. I don't know why. What I don't know how else to say it. This is failure. Twin flame. Look at the feathers. Failure because you're not doing shadow work. That top underneath the seven, which is like seven of swords, lies deception. You're lying to yourself, to yourself. Everyone's seven of swords. He's lying to you. No, he's not lying to you. He's in his belief system doing what he thinks best. You're lying to yourself because others are telling you what to do. That is set underneath the seven is uh, Capricorn, which is control. You are trying to control him or her. This one here, I think it looks like, let me see. Is that, is that Taurus? I think that's Taurus. Look, I was trying to figure that out. I think it's Taurus, stubborn. <laughs> well, twin flame failing. You tell me, is he coming towards you or not? You can work on myself on my master program, have my twin flame program, but I'm making it clear. These lots still, you're not in your truth with them. It won't happen. It won't happen. It's anything you know you're not stupid. Anything that is a negative, this won't progress. We are like angelic beings. We are all angelic beings. They're making it clear to me. This is what I teach. The Kabbalah is for everyone. They didn't create the Kabbalah for twin flames, did they? This is for everybody. You won't rise in consciousness to higher levels of awareness and get um, spirit guides coming through you to get to all your abundance if you're lying to yourself. 
to others about your twin flame. Oh, I'm just keeping my mouth shut. No, you're lying to people. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. It's a positive or a negative. That's why I say to people, it doesn't matter if I swear or that. That's not negative. I don't feel it's a negative. If I told you to fuck off, only if you told me to fuck off, but I'm not rude or anything to you unless you piss me off, which is me in my truth of, yes, being my true authentic self. Other people write stupid ass comments and then they lick ass to that person when they it really they've pissed them off. You have to be in your truth. You have to be in your truth. That's why they chose me, because it looks like I'm pissed off with everybody, but I'm not. I'm just being true to myself without being of being horrible to that person. People might say, I've just come on your channel and you're all in my face and cussing me out and that. I'm like, no, don't don't write anything stupid to me first. You don't go onto someone else's channel and give shit. You have to be in your truth. This is Nine of Pentacles. This is about you independently making up your money. This is independently going for your wheel of fortune. This is you getting your pentacles. This then creates three to three several rods in the middle is um, like three of pentacles. But that's love, loving oneself, doing what you want. That's interesting because the green is the heart chakra, which is the center of which is the tip of rod. In the wheel of um, in the in the Kabbalah, and that's your person blue, which is third dimensional, and blending it together, which is three of pentacles, which is teamwork. Like I said, this is to do a bit with mission. Like you're trying to think, oh well, what shall I do, which will make him come towards me? Let me do Reiki. Let me do acupuncture. No, it comes from I've gone through my story of how I created tarot without having any idea but because i knew quantum physics because i'm a scientist and because they know i'm hardcore and i study shit and because i like kabbalah because i wanted a religion but i didn't want it with a title kabbalah is all religions really right that's why i can read cards like this i didn't need to really train on the cards because i still really don't know all the major and minor and all this anyway Last one, working hard at it. Your person is holding back. This reading, your person's not coming towards you. He's holding back, right? Because you're holding back. You're holding back your true feelings to your friends and family. This isn't to your person. The tree of life here, the tree is rooted belief systems. This is about, once again, you going in about what I've just said in this reading. You can do all the programs I've got. If you don't confront it to you being your true authentic self to your friends and family, you won't progress. You won't progress because you'll have your mum on the phone. I will, you know, um, slagging off your person, which will affect you because you love that person. It's a negative. Or you can't speak openly to someone about someone who you love. You know, when you love someone and you're just excited, you want to talk about it and you go to certain people and you have to drop that frequency. It's a drop in frequency. This won't progress. You have to fucking work at it. It's the eight of pentacles. There's the hermit. You go within and you change this belief system. Then the sun here. This is consciousness. This is third eye. This is higher realms, the crown chakra here. For this to grow with the sun in the background and you stop holding back and then your person stops holding back. This is what this reading is about. So uh, get on with it. Like I said, you lot need to, uh, you can't skip bits of what I say. People get the tower reading and then they wait for me in the 12 weeks. I'm like, you've got the entire playlist plus my twin flame program. If I read you and you moan and you say to me, well, I've been waiting 12 weeks or something, and I read that you haven't even done it, I cuss you in my reading. Like I said, I'm in my right. Because I feel like, well, if you cuss me, if you don't say anything, fine. Because people email me, it's due and all this. I'm like, I bet I'll do your reading. You ain't done any work. So how dare you email me that you, you've been waiting. The time is necessary for you to do that. So then, but you waste your money because then I have to then tell you what to go back over my Twin Flame program. Go back to the playlist. Use the playlist. It will help you. Don't just buy my program and work on the master program. 
or everything I state will push you forward. The playlist is more than anything you can buy on this platform of YouTube alone, and it's free. It will push you, the playlist is intentional to push you forward if you study it, not just listen to it and watch it. If you study it, then what will happen? You will think, yes, yeah, Sophia's shit works, then you buy the program. That is the intention. But my tarot readings alone should make you buy it. If you're stuck or you're doing the work and you don't know where else to go, book an update reading. I will tell you what else to move on. If you feel that you want more help and you're actually doing work and getting triggers, book David. If you want email support, go to Erica Eastpot or go to Discord with Tim Green. If you want if you want to know about the laws, which you need to know, go to Annalise. These are people on the subscription list, my subscription list. Amber England and Jojo are on there as well. They talk to you about the inner work, which you're supposed to do. Plus, they're excellent at doing tarot as well. This community is here to help you, to help you to get to union with your person. The others stop you because they don't know what I state. It's simple, they can go, and they don't talk about Kabbalah. Kabbalah is meant for tarot. If they don't know Kabbalah and they don't guarantee their work, get the fuck off the channel. They are stopping you from getting with your person. But this reading is to do with you listening to others. Well, that's part of it, I suppose. Friends, but whoever, whoever, I'm out. Speak to you later.